what I said, obviously because of technical difficulties, this is Dr. Chen speaking, again, I'm going to say it very slow, and I'm going to say it very direct. The first order of business when we deal with New Woman Rising in terms of prevention education as it pertains to HIV AIDS, the first letter, I'm going to put it even, even better than that, since you said we have a culture here, and I'm going to focus on that, A, B, C. A, the first thing I said earlier was that we teach and speak and exemplify the behavior of abstinence false, false. And then, for those that may behave and act like they don't understand how to implement abstinence, we speak of be faithful, be careful, second. And then for those that fit that criteria, that we all know exists in this ever so culturally engaged community here in the Virgin Islands, St. Croix in particular, we go to the letter C, condomize. And I wish to express that when I went to the US AIDS conference in San Francisco in October of 2009, not only did I have the joy and the privilege of being around thousands of people talking about the different ways that they address this epidemic in America, I had an opportunity to actually present one of the only Virgin Island-based individuals at this conference that had an opportunity to present in a round table dealing with HIV, women of color, and domestic violence. And I want to highlight to that listener, I thank you for sharing that request for clarity. Our first area of HIV prevention education will always be abstinence. One of the main reasons New Woman Rising was able to be successful in this competitive process for this funding opportunity from the Office of Women's Health out of America is because we specified the cultural uniqueness of the Virgin Islands, St. Croix in particular. We expressed to the Office of Women's Health, we cannot come here and tell people we're just going to talk about safe sex and how you have sex and sex this and sex that because that's not part of our culture here. So I need you to really make sure you hear me clear. I don't wish to be misunderstood ever, 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 because the first thing, and when you hear Princess Anuma Ad speak, then you're gonna get the full clarity from a you that is one of the few that is willing to say it publicly that we deal with abstinence fuss, and then we deal with all the other areas of preparation because we have to deal with reality and we have youth that don't hear abstinence because we've been talking abstinence with our 300 plus registered churches here on St. Croix for years and we still are number two, not number 27, number two in HIV infections in the country, not in the Virgin Islands territory, in the country and that needs to change so I thank you most humbly Carla for that clarification.